What is up guys, Alex TV back in the video. Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys my room tour I've been waiting to make for months. I just had my room done right now and I've set it up completely. I've been waiting to make this video for a very long time. So all I'm asking you guys is to subscribe, like, comment down below, and we'll get started with the video right now. Right off the bat, I have to say the most iconic thing of this entire setup has to be the triple monitor setup. All three of these monitors are from Pixio. They are all 24 inches with this one being 1440p and both of these are being 1080. All of these are 165 hertz as you can see and right above we have our nano leaf shape panels. I have 19 of the large triangles all put into this configuration. I believe this is pretty worth it because of all the effects it can do. It can screen mirror with my displays my keyboard mouse, my back LED lights, as well as the lamps behind me, I'm gonna show you later. For the keyboard and mouse, I decided to go with the Corsair wireless harpoon mouse paired with the Corsair SE keyboard with the palm rest right here. I like this keyboard because you could also kick it up and it's also pretty comfortable when you're texting or typing or gaming or whenever you're doing anything on this PC. For under my monitors, I have a Vizio 5.1 surround sound system built into this room as you can see. I'll go in later in deeper detail. I have the right speaker right there and the left speaker right there paired with, with a wireless subwoofer under the bed that adds for a full 5.1 360 surround system. And we're gonna get more into that later as we go along in the video. Moving on the side, I have a MagSafe Anchor wireless charger, as you can see right here. It is a dual wireless charger, which means you could put your AirPods, Apple Watch right here, and also connect your phone if you have a MagSafe compatible iPhone case. My webcam, I have just a basic 1080p webcam. I forgot the brand name of it, and it sits on top of my third monitor, as you can see. Speaking of monitors, this is my triple monitor mount, as you can see right here. This cost me around 50 bucks, and it's a VIVO monitor mount. As you can see, you, all you need to do is screw four VESA mount displays on each of them, and all the cables are neatly managed right here. These little hangers come in with the monitor display, and it's to keep all your cables away from being seen anywhere here, and they all go down that little strip down there. For the desk, I went pretty basic with a dark gray linen desktop with two Alex drawers that are in black. The cables are pretty well managed. As you can see, I have a whole eight strip power adapter connected and that is screwed into the desk. All the cables go down here and are marked for each one, like monitor one, ceiling LED lights, monitor two, sound bar, monitor three, etc. This is the same PC with a Ryzen 5 3600 and a RTX 3050. For the setup, I did try to go with the wireless headset HyperX headphone. I used to have the wired one, but I'm trying to go as wire-free as possible in the setup to make sure it looks clean and really nice. This chair is also from Ikea. It is pretty good quality, as you can see. And speaking from Ikea, this is my Ikea lac shelf, as you can see right here. Added some nice LED lights, LED puck lights, if you want me to be specific, which can be turned on like this, each little light. And this is how it looks like. Over here, if you guys do remember my Lithuanian water collection from my old house, it doesn't really matter, it's just a personal thing. But I do like keeping these from display because they're really rare in, a, in like the USA to see. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But all I'm showing you guys is the shelf. As you can see, this is my first dollar ever made from YouTube. It is pretty nice, it is all framed. Down here I have more waters, I have the DJI drone, and right there is an empty unused shelf that I don't know what I'm gonna use for, but everything else is pretty self-explanatory. For my LED lights, I did decide to uh, bring them down around, keep them all nice and managed, and bring them up and split them across for a full 360 LED experience and like a wrap around the room. So yeah, I have that pretty well cable managed and you can also change to the colors. Speaking of LED lights, I do have a six foot nano leaf LED strip right behind my desk. This one is nano leaf so it can connect with my monitors. So these lights, these lights, and those two lights, they all sync together. So if your room turns red, everything here is gonna be red besides the ceiling LEDs cause then it would be a little too much. For my drawers, I do have them pretty nicely organized as you can see. I have all my cables, I have all my pencils. Down here, I have all my power bricks, all my extra cords, every single headphone, and we just go more specific as time goes on. These are all my PC parts, like a wireless uh, Wi-Fi receiver, uh, some display ports or graphic cards, like all, all, all the little stuff we need to like fix a PC, ethernet cables, etc. So I have them all organized in each shelf over here. 
this one over here is my filming shelf, as you can see. I have my DJI phone stabilizer over here. I have some GoPro accessories, everything, and just some iPhone cases. And yeah, that's what I have in my drawers. Going towards this side of the room, I do have all my furniture from Ikea. This is the Ikea Mom 4 shelf unit, 2 shelf unit, 2 shelf unit, and the Ikea Greystain Mom uh, bed, queen size bed. It has It's important queen because this is a very tight space, so I wouldn't be able to fit a king, so queen is the only one that fits. I do have three bed frames, one here, two, and then one over here. If you guys remember in my old house, I only used to have this one right here. Since then, I purchased two more because I do have another Mr. Beast signed shirt right there, as you can see. And this is gonna be soon replaced with something else. I'm gonna be maybe making a future video about it, but this is right now a placeholder, but I do have one there and one there. On this side of the room, I do have two bedside lights, both powered by Nanoleaf LED light bulbs that both screen mirror whatever it shows on there, there, the LED lights. Over here, I have two pillows, nothing crazy. And right here is the sound system you guys have been all waiting for. Down here is a wireless subwoofer that connects to the left and right speaker, both producing 5.1 surround sound system. And yeah, it's pretty good, especially when you play music from the computer, from your phone, from the HomePod, anything. They all work together to create a 360 surround sound system. In the corner of my shelf, all I do is just have my nano leaf boxes, my memories. I have some boxes, as you can see, from the DJI Osmo 5, the Anchor battery charger, LED lights, and all their other stuff. One of the really cool things we have in this house is that every single room outside has a special outlet. It is a Lutron Cassetta outlet, as you can see. It has an on and off button, just like a normal light switch. It controls the light up there. You could turn it on all the way. It could be controlled by Google, Alexa, Siri, and it is also very dimmable, so you just all you do is hold it down. It brings the brightness to halfway down, as you can see right there. On this side of the desk, I usually just keep my MacBook or any other electronics that I usually bring around with myself. This is the MacBook Air 2022 M2 8GB uh, MacBook. As you can see, I put it in a nice hard shell case so it won't get scratched. But this is how it looks like. It's, it's really nice and it's really clean. We do have the remote for the soundbar if you want to increase the bass and everything. Over here is my closet. We have all the lights, we have the pants, and all the other stuff for myself. On this side, this is the left speaker, as well as a HomePod I have over here, which controls every single light in my room. And yeah, so that is basically the fundamentals or like the main part of my entire room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want an in-depth tour about my triple, uh, triple monitor setup or anything else, make sure to subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you all in another video.